Hey guys, welcome back to my channel with some more pregnancy content. Uh, I'm in a new little spot in my room, <laughs> so I don't know how the sound, the audio, all the stuff's gonna be, um, and the lighting and stuff, so we're sorting out, but I kinda wanted like a nice like little reading area in my room, like a chill little area. This is actually not the chair that's gonna be going here, but I still haven't found the chair that I wanna put here because I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace because I'm pretty cheap sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So I've been talking to you guys about gender. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? And so if you're pregnant along with me and you don't know the gender of your baby yet, then I would love if you would play along and do all of these with me and see what yours says and let me know. But I also want your guys' guesses in the comments below. I will also link you to everything that I'm talking about today or doing in the description box below, so always check there. But um, let's see what we have here. And I'm curious, like, like, I think it's so fun that you guys, like a lot of you guys are pregnant right now with me. It makes this like even more fun, but I'm pretty excited to like see what these like wives tale, like gender prediction tests say, because you guys seem like you are 60, 40. Like I feel like 60% of you feel like it's a boy and like 40% of you think it's a girl. So I'm curious what that's based on. I think it's just like your gut feeling maybe. And people keep asking me like, what's your gut feeling? And I honestly, like, I just, I don't really know. Like I kind of think it's a boy, but then I just, I have no idea. Um, I think Nick would like a boy because he wants to do the surfing and all of that kind of stuff but you can still do that with a girl. I was very much like a tomboy, like outside. I would play with lizards and frogs and like make forts and everything. So, I mean, you can definitely do all of that stuff still with a girl, but I feel like if he had his choice, it would be a boy. And I like go both ways. Like people are like, what do you want? What do you want? And I'm like, honestly, like 50% of me wants a boy first because I'm just kind of traditional in that way. And it would be cool like to have a boy first, like the oldest like brother to take care of like the younger sisters and siblings is like a man. Um, but then the other side of me wants like a girl so I can dress her up really cute and like do girly stuff. So I really don't know. But um, I also wanted to mention that in this video, actually the first up, you're gonna see my pee. So if that grosses you out, then maybe don't keep watching or fast forward a little bit because the first gender prediction test is going to involve pee and it is potent, it is yellow, it is uh, prenatal vitamin pregnancy pee. So gear yourself for that, get ready for that. <laughs> and by the way, my cat is down here um, grooming himself. So if you hear anything near the mic, it's him. Let's get started and see what I'm having, see what you're having if you're doing this along with me, and leave your predictions in the comments below, preferably before we go through all these tests, and then if you wanna edit it, add another comment and tell me if you think that it's changed based on the information that you've heard or the tests that you've seen. So let's get started and see if I'm having a boy or a girl. Okay, let's go ahead and just get the pee thing out of the way <laughs> so that if you don't wanna see the pee thing, I will leave, uh, you, well, you can just fast forward a little bit. I mean, geez, it's, it's just pee. Okay, so this one is the baking soda gender test. To try out this super popular gender test at home, you mix equal parts first thing in the morning urine, which we're not doing today, it's not first thing in the morning, but oh well. Uh, and baking soda to see how it reacts. If it fizzes, you could be pregnant with a boy, but if it doesn't react, there's a good chance it's a girl, or so the story goes. So let's do it. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is so gross. I can't believe I'm using this to touch my pee with, but you know what? That's what a dishwasher is for, right? Okay. Oh wow, that's, okay. And here's where you guys get to see my pee. Yay. Oh my gosh, I almost knocked this over. <laughs> it's so yellow. This is so disgusting. Okay, it said if it fizzes, it's a boy. So there's literally zero fizzing going on. Oh my gosh, you guys, am I having a girl? Okay. This is disgusting, I'm gonna throw this away, but we have our results. 
So according to my pee right now at 3.18 p.m., it is a girl. Next is the Mayan gender predictor test. So basically it doesn't require you to pee on anything, which is awesome. Um, I will also link you guys to the site that I grabbed all these off of in the description box if you want to try them for yourself. Uh, okay. So you just need a couple of numbers, specifically the year your baby was conceived. So let's write that down. 2021. 20, okay. And your age at conception. 32. Holy shit, I'm turning 33 on December 12th. That's crazy. Okay, so, okay, it says if these numbers are both even or odd, then you'll welcome a girl. One's odd and one's even. But if there is one even and the other is odd, it's a boy. So, According to this, I'm having a boy. Let's keep track of this. I'm gonna do boy one so far, girl one. <laughs> okay. The hair growth gender test. If you're sporting a whole head of luscious locks during pregnancy, don't be fooled, this is extensions. This quirky prediction test says that you're probably carrying a boy. While well, dry, limp hair may mean it's a girl. Similarly, with excessive hair growth, often in places you shouldn't, you wouldn't prefer, can indicate that you're carrying a boy. So I would say my hair has been exactly the same. Um, my hair has been dry, brittle, as usual. It's it's been nothing different than out of the norm. And also I have not been experiencing any extra hair growth on my legs or anywhere else. It's been pretty much the same. So according to this, that means that I am having a girl. And I was always confused because people said when you were pregnant, like I don't know if it's like the prenatal vitamins or whatever, but basically said that your hair was gonna grow like crazy and you're gonna have all this like beautiful, amazing hair. And I've just been like waiting for that to like show up because I pump so many extensions into my hair. Like actually I don't, Brooklyn and Jenna do, thank you. But you can see my natural hair in an Instagram reel that I posted getting my hair done. And you can see my natural hair with no extensions and it is very thin and it's very sad. So we got another one for girl. Let's see what we have next. The mood gender test. Are you having major mood swings now that you're pregnant or are you over the moon all of the time? If you're a moody mama, we totally get it. There are a whole bunch of not so funny pregnancy symptoms, but did you know some believe your mood is indicative of the baby's sex? This wives tale says moodiness and irritability are associated more closely with girl pregnancies while feeling of calm con content contentedness, is that even a word? May indicate you're expecting a boy. So let me just go ahead and put another check on the girl side because I am one moody bitch. But you know what, honestly, I've been moody my entire life. So it's not anything out of the ordinary again. And that's kind of been like a lot of my pregnancy. Like I don't even almost feel pregnant. It's just been kind of like same old, same old. It also doesn't help that we're in the middle of remodeling our house and all of our shit from the entire house is jammed into this side of the house and hence all my stuff in here. So it's been very stressful and hard not to have mood swings. This bitch hasn't had a kitchen for eight months. And if you hear about this all the time, I'm so sorry, but like I have to vent about it. Like it's so frustrating. All right, let's see what we got next. So far it's one boy and three for girl. The partner weight gain test. It's really funny because we were just talking about this last night and um, it was kind of funny because we were talking about Nick <laughs> not fitting into his little uh, class, is it called class A's? They're like fancy uniform. We went to the Oceanside Fire Department's uh, holiday party last night and it was so tight on his neck. He had to like undo his buttons and then I think he's said recently like something else was like tight around the waist. We were kind of talking about that last night. So my partner has gained a little bit of weight. I have only gained seven pounds so far during pregnancy um, and I'm 18 weeks today. Uh, by the time you see this, I will be probably 20 weeks halfway through the pregnancy. But 
uh, it says, is your, <laughs> is your hubby putting on a few sympathy pounds? He might be a daddy to be, or might be a daddy to a little lady in the future, but if he's more in shape than ever, not fair, legend has it, his may suit, he may, sorry, I cannot read today. <laughs> Legend has it he may soon have his own little mini-me running around. Okay, it's going to be a mini-me whether it's a boy or a girl, but I guess we're putting another check on the girl side. Wow. The dreams gender test. Okay, so it basically says that your pregnancy dreams can get a little crazy. I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary, but prior to me being pregnant and during pregnancy, I've had a lot of breastfeeding dreams, which is interesting. Um, just like, I think that's kind of one of the things that I'm like most worried about almost. Like, is it going to be weird? Like, my boobs have been there my whole life for nothing more than, well, obviously after a certain age. <laughs> for They've been sexual, very sexual. So... I, that's, I don't know if I'm having dreams about it because of that, but they've been good dreams, like good breastfeeding dreams. But I would say that it's always a boy in my dreams. And it says on this one that according to the wives tale, if you're having dreams about one gender, you're typically having the other. So if I'm having dreams about a boy, I'm having a girl. And if I'm having dreams about a girl, I'm having a boy. And I don't think in any of my dreams so far, it's been a girl. So we have to put another check mark on the girl side. That leaves us so far with uh, boy one, <laughs> boy one and girl five. So d girl is definitely winning here. The cravings test. Okay. According to the old wives tale, if you're craving sweets, you're likely having a girl. As I read this, I'm thinking about the red velvet cake in my fridge, but I didn't buy it. So, <laughs> um, and if sour or savory is your jam right now, you're birthing a boy. Um, many mamas swear by this one. Uh, okay. So I have to say a couple things here and you guys make your own assessment of this, but I have never been a sweets person. I have never been someone that really likes dessert. I've never been someone that really likes sweets in general. I've always been a potatoes and cheese and salt savory kind of person. I like sour things also. And I like hard candies like now and laters are like my jam, but cake and stuff, not so much. I do love red velvet cake and creme brulee. Those are my two like desserts that I will order if they are on the menu, but if they're not, I'm not having it. So as with a couple of the other symptoms, like I said, I haven't, I've just not really felt that pregnant. And so if I'm going off of that, technically I should just be feeling like myself, which I kind of do, which is more sweets and stuff or more, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say sweets more like carbs and like, like not sugar. It's just, it is what it is. Like I just like my potatoes and my cheese and my salt and all that. So I guess I would have to say with this one, uh, if I'm going based on that alone, I would have to put a check mark with the boy on the boy side because I have not been craving sweets, but I haven't been having any cravings at all. So, <laughs> all right. So two boy, five girl, I probably should put the cap on this. So I'm not sitting here huffing that the acne gender test. Are you rocking a dewy complexion that's free from acne? You could be expecting a boy. Currently, I have no acne. However, one of the first signs that I knew I was pregnant was because I was breaking out, but it has gone away. So does it mean the beginning of pregnancy or now? I'm going to go with now and put a check mark on the boy side. It also says, or do you have like, or do you look like death warmed over every day? They say it's all the extra est estrogen from estrogen, not estrogen, estrogen from carrying a girl from carrying. Oh my gosh, guys, I swear I can read. <laughs> or do you look like death warmed over every day? They say it's all that extra estrogen from carrying from the girl you may be carrying. Mom's complexion has long been a subject of debate when it comes to predicting baby's sex. So I've been told that I have a glow. You guys have told me that. I also have really nice um, highlighter on right now, so that could be part of it. But I've been told that I have a glow, and I've also been told that I just like look like I have that whole pregnancy skin and vibe going on. So I guess I would say that based on that alone, I'm having a boy. The sun is quickly 
descending in the sky. <laughs> so I just changed the lighting a little bit. So if in any of these videos where I'm like not in my studio, it's probably because I'm working with daylight as well as studio light. So it's a little annoying. Okay, so we have three for boy and five for girl. So boy is kind of catching up here. Let's see what's next. This is the last and final. So with that being said, I don't think that boy is going to catch up to girl, but let's see. This is the swinging necklace gender test. The necklace gender test is nearly identical to the ring test, which I couldn't do because I'm not married and don't have a wedding ring. <laughs> um, only you perform this on your wrist. Uh, why? No one seems to know. To take the test, use a necklace instead of a ring on a string. Place your arm on a table or another flat surface with your wrist facing up. Okay, so I grabbed a necklace that Nick gave to me last Christmas. And it says engraved on the back, here's to forever, Nick. Okay, so place your arm on a table or another flat surface. Okay, I'm gonna do it right on the chair. Uh, place your arm on a table or another flat surface with your wrist facing up, okay? Then dangle the necklace over your wrist and see what type of motion makes once you stop bobbing it. How do you stop your bot? What? Then dangle the necklace over your wrist and bob it up and down a few times. Oh, okay. Let it hover over your wrist and see what type of motion it makes once you stop bobbing it. If it moves in a circle, you may be having a girl. If it goes back and forth, you may be expecting a boy. Okay, so I'm gonna bob it up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, now I'm stopping. Side to side. It's most definitely going side to side. So, that, I already forgot what that meant, but I'm pretty sure that meant boy. If it goes back and forth, you may be expecting a boy. So we're putting another check on boy. So we've got boy four and girl five. So technically, uh, this is a, t oh wait, we have one more. I forgot that there was not part of this list on this site for gender reveal, but there is a test that you can take about like where you're carrying and symptoms. And we're gonna try that. So maybe this will be the tiebreaker that we need. But currently we've got boy four and girl five. So make your predictions right now in the comments. I'm curious what you guys think. Okay, gender predictor quiz. Let's do it. I think it's only like 10 questions or something. So let's see, you guys can do this along with me. First off, congratulations. What is your due date? May 8th, 2022. Okay. Stand in front of a mirror, turn to the side, and basically is your bump high or is it lower? I can't tell if mine's just higher looking because I don't really have a baby bump yet. I kind of just look like thicker in general, but it's definitely like higher in my opinion. Like it's more like around my belly button and higher right now that I feel like I'm gaining a little bit of weight. So I'm going to say my baby bump is higher up. Ask uh, what the heart rate of your soon to be newborn is. Is the number less than 140 beats a minute? Mine has been above that every single time, even when I've done it on the Doppler and Nick's done it. So I would say no, it is not below that. Grab a mirror. Did your uh, pregnancy evaporate your acne, leaving you with a smooth, healthy glow? I guess I'm going to say yes, because I don't have any acne right now. And I keep getting told that I'm glowing. Although I honestly, well, somebody told me that when I had no makeup on too. Actually, a couple people did. So maybe I'm glowing. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Is <laughs> time to check your partner. Does somebody sound familiar? Um, is he gaining weight right along with you or packing on even more pounds than you have? Yes. Is he pregnant too? Is the answer. <laughs> if it were up to you, would you skip dinner altogether and head straight for dessert? No, I would say I like my carbs and veggies still. Do you find that since you've been pregnant, you can't seem to stand up without tripping over your own feet? Actually, yeah, I've actually gotten a lot more clumsy. I feel way more clumsy than I did before. And I drop things a lot. I trip over things a lot. I have a lot more bruises on my legs than I usually do. So I'm going to say yes, my klutz factor has increased significantly with this pregnancy. 
I love that JoJo's just laying here, like, hanging out with us. Hi, cutie. Hi, Kiki. I love you. Do you feel an overwhelming desire to chow down on anything salty, like a big bag of chips or salt-crusted pretzel? I just realized that I have an unopened thing of uh, pickles in my fridge, and I'm very excited to bust into that after this. Um, I would say yes. Uh, so it gives you two options. Yes, salt is my new best friend or no salt isn't my thing these days. So neither one of those are super accurate because I've always loved salt. It's the same. So I'm just going to say yes. If a friend catches a glimpse of you from behind, can you tell you're pregnant? I don't look pregnant even from the front, the side, or the back. So I'm going to say no. From behind, you cannot tell I'm pregnant. During your first trimester, did you wonder what all the fuss was about with morning sickness? And I'm going to say, yes, morning sickness, morning sickness. I felt fine because I didn't have any. Have your legs become so hairy that you're worried you're morphing into Bigfoot? Uh, does that sound familiar again? Some of these sounds familiar to some of the other little tests we did. I'm going to say no. Same hair as ever. And then I got to put my email in to get my results. Let's see. I'm curious what your guys's are going to be if you did this along with me. Um, no thanks. It says it's a boy. So we are completely tied. <laughs> All right. So five for boy and five for girl. So I really didn't expect this to be a tie, but here we are. So the camera literally just died like mid sentence, but okay. With that being said, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I'm having a boy or a girl? Leave it in the comments below. And I'm curious what all of these prediction tests revealed for you. If you're pregnant, does it say you're having a boy or a girl? And do you know if it's accurate or not? Soon we will know. And I'm just so anxious to know. Like, I don't understand how people wait until the baby is coming out of them to find out if it's a boy or a girl. Like, I could never wait that long. So props to you if you can. I think it's a little weird and bizarre myself. <laughs> but more power to you. Um... But I'm super excited to find out. And I'm just, I don't know. Like, everyone's like, what do you feel like in your gut? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm the type of person that's like, I'm so bad with directions and stuff that like, if I think I'm supposed to go right, I should probably go left. So I have no idea. So the fact that I think I'm probably having a boy, I'm probably having a girl, to be honest. So I'm excited to see what you guys think. And um, we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.